and welcome to Emily Carr Secondary School's Grade 8 Information Presentation. A special welcome to our Class of 2026. My name is Fiorella Finelli, and I am the Subject Head of Guidance in Career Education here at ECSS. Joining me in this presentation is one of our Guidance Counselors, Rosanna Milani. Hello, everyone. We would like to begin our presentation, as we do each school day, with our expression of gratitude for the opportunity to live on Indigenous land and to live and learn in ways that honour agreements we have as treaty people. We affirm that we are all treaty people and acknowledge that York Region District School Board is located on lands of two treaties. These treaties are signed with the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and the First Nations of the Williams Treaties, who are the Mississaugas of Alderville, Curve Lake, Hiawatha, Scugog Island, and the Chippewas of Beausoleil, Rama, and Georgina Island, our closest neighbour and partner in education. To honour this agreement, we will take up our responsibility to be respectful of their traditions, knowledges, and inherent rights as sovereign nations. We will respect their relationship with these lands and recognize that our connection to this land is through the continued relationship with these First Nations, and we acknowledge our shared responsibility to respect and care for the land and waters for future generations. Our administration team is made up of our principal, Ms. Deanna Heron, and our three vice principals, Mr. Themi Dracolius, who works with students whose last names include A through to E, and Ms. Borges, who works with students whose last names include F through to O, and Mr. Patrick McQuaid, who works with students whose last names include P through to Z. I want to emphasize that the four administrators work as a team and they are available to support all students, not just those assigned in their alpha roster. Another team that supports all students is our guidance team, which is made up of the following counselors. Mr. Ryback, who supports students with the last names that start with A through to C. Ms. Milani, who supports students with the last names that start with D through to M and me, Ms. Finelli, who supports students with the last names that start with N through to Z. We also have Mrs. Genova, our guidance secretary, who greets students and families in person and on the phone in the guidance office. Guidance services include post-secondary planning, emotional support, academic counseling, referrals to student support services, such as social work, and so much more. As you can see through this visual, we are a large working team that collaborates to support our students. We are committed to the success of all students. Working together, we provide relevant and experiential learning opportunities while building on students' interests and strengths. Whether it is in terms of a smooth transition to secondary school, academic achievement, well-being, or a positive transition to post-secondary opportunities, we are all here to help. Our school day begins promptly at 8 a.m. and ends at 2.05 p.m. Our typical day includes four periods. We are a semestered school where students will study four courses each semester. Each class is 75 minutes in length. There is currently one common lunch period. Emily Carr Secondary School has a variety of transition activities that will support our grade nine students. In preparation for high school, this year we were virtually visiting with each family of school to provide information about course selections and programs. In addition, the first day of school is dedicated for our grade nine students. A variety of activities and events take place so that students can become familiar with the building, their teachers and their classmates. In order to help students meet new individuals and form great connections with the teachers, ECSS also plans a grade nine camp day called Thunder Camp and other related orientation activities. There are teams and club fairs at the beginning of each school year, which allows students to find activities that they are interested in and where they can learn on how they can join and become involved. Students, parents, and guardians can begin the process of preparing for high school by focusing on developing strong learning skills and work habits. By establishing a set routine for homework with designated times and appropriate workspaces, this can help lead to success. 
we encourage the idea of perseverance through obstacles by finding a variety of ways to work through challenges by students seeking support and by, vo by voicing their needs. We also want students to consider new ways of organizing their information and schedules so that they can determine which strategies work most effectively for them. Overall, we want students to strive to be their best and experience ongoing success. Mental health and well-being is important to all of us, especially now. It is fundamental for our students. At ECSF, we help students feel safe, welcomed, and included in the school and within our classrooms. We understand that when students experience a sense of wellness and belonging, they are more likely to be ready to learn. As caring educators, we continually work to create and maintain mentally healthy classrooms that support all, and we encourage a healthy school life balance. To also help with student well being, we recognize that having an opportunity to become familiar with a new learning environment is important. Take some time to become familiar with the ECSS building in a virtual way. If you visit the homepage of our school website and scroll down, you will come to a link that will bring you to our ECSS virtual tour. Families will be able to explore and become familiar with our amazing school. Remember to click on the camera and eye information icons to become familiar with helpful resources and additional information. Also, you can get a sneak peek of what makes ECSS special by viewing our ECSS student video found on the Grade 8 Open House Welcome page. The video was produced by our current ECSS students in our Grade 10 Communication Technology class. Please note that in some pictures, it does showcase students prior to COVID-19 protocols. Overall, the video highlights many of the wonderful characteristics of ECSS, which includes clubs, teams, classrooms, programs, ECSS supports, and community partners, just to mention a few. Please take a few moments to watch the video and enjoy. Once students arrive at ECSS, students will focus on earning the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, known as the acronym OSSD. The OSSD requires students to earn 18 compulsory or mandatory credits and 12 elective or optional credits. ECSS offers a variety of elective courses and in grade nine, students will select two elective courses from these options. In addition to course requirements, there are also the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test Requirement, which is part of the OSSD. The test is based on cross-curricular expectations, not just English courses. The test will serve both to determine whether students have acquired the reading and writing skills considered essential for literacy and to provide confirmation that those students who have completed the test successfully have attained the provincial expectations for literacy. In some cases, accommodations, deferrals, and exemptions may be appropriate and will be addressed with those students in grade 10 prior to the test. If students are not successful in their first attempt, not to worry, as there will be another opportunity the following year, or they may be eligible to take the grade 12 Ontario Secondary School Literacy course. Community involvement hours is the final OSSD requirement. It is a great way to explore career interests while promoting community values. Students require 40 hours for graduation and activities may be completed at any time starting in the summer of grade eight and during the students' school years um, at Emily Carr. Students in collaboration with their parents and guardians will decide how they will complete the community involvement requirement. They may use their individual pathway planner to identify possible activities. Activities may take place in a variety of settings, not-for-profit organizations such as food banks, through public sector institutions like hospitals, and through religious organizations, and many more opportunities. Community involvement information can be found on the YRDSB website and on the guidance page of the ECSS website. There are many people available to support students and families with making decisions about which courses might be best suited for individual students. We encourage families to speak to their grade eight teacher, special education resource teachers, secondary school guidance counselors, or other school staff to help make informed decisions. Remember that initial decisions made in grade eight rather are not final decisions. There are many pathways to various post-second destinations. Remember, we are on a journey together and we will support our students with whichever path they choose. 
Should have families have questions about this or anything else, we're happy to provide an opportunity to ask questions at the end of this presentation through our Google form. We can also respond individually to questions by a phone call or email and or post responses to the answers as well. When considering the different course types, please note, Academic courses develop students' knowledge and skills through the study of theory and abstract problems. These courses focus on the essential concepts of the subject and explore related concepts as well. They incorporate practical applications as appropriate. Locally developed courses may be developed by a board for grade nine or grade 10 students in a particular school or region to accommodate educational and or career preparation needs that are not met through courses within the provincial curriculum policy documents. Open courses, which compri comprise a set of expectations that are appropriate for all students, are designed to broaden students' knowledge and skills in subjects that reflect their interests and prepare them for active and rewarding participation in society. They are not designed with specific requirements for university, college, or workplace in mind. These streamed courses mean that schools will no longer be offering courses in the applied stream. Research shows that these streaming results in better outcomes for all students, and particularly for those who are from marginalized communities. As such, schools across Ontario are offering de-streaming in mathematics and science for next school year. ECSS offers a variety of elective courses in grade nine. Grade nine students will select two elective courses from these options. Here is an example of a grade nine student timetable. As you can see, there are a variety of course types which include open, academic, and de-streamed courses. For students interested in taking the music repertoire course, please note that this course is offered in the after school program time slot and is counted as a ninth credit. And now I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Milani, who will continue with our presentation. Thank you, Ms. Finelli. There is also a lot of information available on the board website that students may find helpful, including how to read a timetable and course codes and additional information about the types of courses available for students. We encourage families to take some time to visit the YRDSB site to explore options about post-secondary education, opportunities outside of school and potential careers. Students will explore this in a variety of ways throughout their time at ECSS. Pathways are fluid and flexible, so as interests, skills, and aptitudes develop and mature, students will have many opportunities to rechart their journey. Students do not need to know exactly what they want to do after high school. There are many opportunities in high school to try new things, explore interests and develop important skills like problem solving, innovation, creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, communication, and more. Students will use a pathway planner tool found directly on our school website that enables them to select their courses, track graduation requirements, and look at pathways and opportunities available to them. Essentially, students are the architects of their lives. This tool puts students at the center of their own learning. They are encouraged to discover themselves, explore opportunities, pursue their passions, and design their personal pathways. It takes the whole education community, including educators, administrators, students, parents, and guardians, as well as the broader community to support students in this learning. Students will have an opportunity to visit their individual pathway planner twice per year, once before course selection. To support various pathways and interests, ECSS has a variety of school programs to offer, such as the Specialist High Skills Major Program, often referred to as the acronym SHISM, as well as the Dual Credit Program. A SHISM major is a specialized program that allows students to focus and contextualize their learning in a particular economic sector. SHISM is about allowing students to develop the requisite skills and training, certifications, and networking abilities to allow them to make an informed transition to post-secondary. The SHISM program provides students with an opportunity to customize their secondary school education to suit their strengths, interests, and abilities, develop specialized knowledge and skills, gain sector-recognized certification and career-relevant training, to develop essential skills and work habits documented through the Ontario Skills Passport, 
identify and explore and refine their career goals and make informed decisions about their future. Additionally, it allows them to remain flexible with the option to shift between pathways should their goals and plans change. Upon completion of the SHISM program at graduation, successful students will receive a specialized SHISM diploma. At ECSS, our specialist high skills major program focuses on the business and health and wellness sectors. Additionally, ECSS offers the dual credit program for eligible students in grades 11 and 12. The focus of this program is to engage students through exposure to college courses and culture while supporting their successful transition to post-secondary education. Dual credit counts towards both a student's high school diploma and their post-secondary diploma degree or apprenticeship certification. Videos and additional information are available here in the slide deck and can also be found on the YRDSB website. Please feel free to explore after this presentation. ECSS also offers cooperative education and the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Programming for students in grade 11 and 12. Students are able to gain career experience working in a position related to their chosen field. It is an absolutely amazing opportunity as it allows students to have hands-on experience, make informed educational and career decisions while gaining valuable work experience and provide network networking opportunities. On top of it all, our students earn course credits while participating in this program. As you can see, our department offerings and opportunities are extensive for all students. One of our big and bustling hubs of our school is our library learning commons, where students are supported in their learning and their love of reading. They can research and use databases, get support directly from the teacher librarians, and borrow from a vast variety of texts. Our special education department offers support to students who have been identified with exceptionalities. A special education resource teacher, also known as a CERT, helps create an individual education plan, also known as an IEP, and they monitor students' progress, advocate for them, and work directly with students. In most cases, students will take a learning strategies course if they have an IEP. Another way we support our incoming grade nine students is through our SWAP program, which is an acronym that stands for Students Working All Together. More and more studies show that if a student has a positive experience in their first year of high school, then their chance for success increases dramatically over well. SWAT was created on the belief that students can help other students succeed. At ECSS, we have grade 11 and 12 mentors that support our entire grade nine cohort right from day one, and they have a positive and encouraging impact on them. PALS is another way we support our students. It is an acronym that stands for Peer Assisted Learning Support. At ECSS, our academically strong senior students support all students who feel that they would benefit from extra help and review in a subject area. This model has been a huge benefit to those students seeking support, but also to our students looking for leadership opportunities and to develop mentorship skills. We recognize that academics are an important part of high school, but becoming involved in extracurricular activities also enhances the high school experience. One way to become involved is with our student council. It includes students from all grades who take the initiative to become active leaders within the school and represent the voice of the student body. Applications for grade nine representatives begin in September. There are also a number of clubs and teams that run. Getting involved is a fantastic way to make new friends, have fun and hone new skills. Here's just a brief sample of some clubs that run at ECSS. Students are also encouraged to create and lead their own clubs and reach out to teachers for mentorship and support. There are also a number of sports teams that run throughout the school year. So no matter what your abilities, interests or talents, we think that ECSS has something to offer all students. The next part of this presentation refers to the registration process. If your child currently attends a family of school that is a wired DSB elementary school within the ECSS school boundary, the elementary school will guide students through the registration process and course selections. An important date to keep in mind is Friday, February 25th, 2022, and that is the deadline for course selections to be completed in my pathway planner. Please note that once submitted, changes can only be updated at course verification time. 
if your child is currently enrolled in a Wired DSB elementary school, however, does not live within the ECSS school boundary, the child may apply to the school as a transfer student. Please advise the grade eight teacher and elementary school's main office that you would like your child to attend ECSS and complete a transfer form. Your elementary school will provide you with instructions on how to submit the electronic transfer form, and they will need to provide ECSS with the electronic transfer data no later than February 15th. Families will be notified in early February if the transfer has been approved. If the transfer has been approved, the receiving school will contact the family in elementary school. The family will then be provided with the course selection information. If the transfer is not approved, the sending secondary school will contact the family and the elementary school. An important date to keep in mind is Friday, February 25th, 2022, and that is the deadline for course selections to be completed. If your child is currently enrolled in a non wired DSB school, the process is as follows. Please email emily.car.ss at wiredsb.ca, your home address, and indicate that you are interested in registering at ECSS. An ECSS staff member will respond to your email confirming if your address falls into our boundaries. If your address falls within the ECSS boundaries, we will then continue with the registration. If you do not live within the ECSS boundaries, you will have to register with your Wired DSB home school and request a transfer form before February 4th, 2022 to be submitted at your home school. Once the address is confirmed, the family will receive an email with the following, Wired DSB registration form where signatures are required, course selections, a checklist of supporting documents, and the ECSS 2022-2023 questionnaire and registration Google form link, which is required to be submitted. Please note that instructions for each of the above forms will be provided in the email. Review important dates chart, which is in the next slide. We ask that you take a few moments to review this slide and take note of the following deadlines. Please stay connected with us. We encourage you to visit our website and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. A lot of information was shared in this presentation and you may have some questions. If so, please click on the link in the PDF slide to access our Google form and we will post the answers to your questions on our website later this month. On behalf of myself, the administration, the counselors, and the staff at Emily Carr Secondary School, I would like to thank you for viewing our presentation and we look forward to seeing our grade nine students in September. Take care.